Hello, this is Morna Stein. I'm Dan Cipriani. And this is the world's most accurate Kika challenge. Hi Danny, hi Morne, welcome to Rugby's Most Accurate Kicker. You will have nine kicks to attempt. The first six will be from both sides of the pitch, moving towards the posts. Finally, you will have three kicks from right in front. But the final spot comes with a twist. Good, it's a challenge. I think it's going to be a difficult one when it comes to taking the kicks out wide and, and trying to rack up the points. But yeah, against a quality kicker like Mornay Stain, you know, it'll be a tough ask, but we'll give it a go. A uh, good, good, good competitor, very good player, so I'm looking forward. The first kick is in the 5 metre channel between the 10 and 22 metre lines. Point on the board. I'm going to go with the shunt option. Hey. Sid. Come on, wind. Bring it in. Bring it in. Next. It's on the touchline, five meters from the try line. Ah, damn it, was close for the old man. So this, from this angle here, this is something that we warm up with and we train because we try and, because it's such a tough angle, you never ever have a kick from this situation within a game because you can always go back along the line of wherever your penalty or your conversion is. But this is a great mark for you to really pinpoint and get your line right to make sure that when you do move out into the front of the post, the post look nice and big for you. There's a slight right to left again. So I'll try and put it just inside right. Like that. Yeah, I actually want a strong wind to come now just to help me to draw a little bit into the post because it's quite an impossible task. Now on the touch line, level with the try line. Come in now. So what I found in the warm-up, which you can do sometimes with difficult kicks, is you can try and be a bit too cute with it and try and place it there. But in these positions, you've got to stick to your technique, stick to your guns, make sure you get through the ball and go through the line and you don't worry too much about the post in that instance. It's up to you guys to decide whether I got it or not. Not a great start. This last couple of kicks, I'm not going to change anything. Uh, Danny, I'm coming for you. I hope you're ready, my man. In the five meter, guys scored a try in the corner. Let's go for it. Now they'll kick from the same positions on the opposite side of the pitch. Finally, another point, finally. Next attempt on the five meter, also a bit, but let's let's go. Come in. <laughs> Zero points again. When you feel slightly in a position like this, feel the breeze coming onto you, slightly into you. You try and manipulate the ball, you try and manipulate your body to make it work, but you've got to stick true to your guns, your core, your movement, and get through the ball. That'll do. I don't know who thought of this challenge, but to kick it over from here, I think that guy must be fired. I was hoping it would come in, but zero points. So I can put it around to the left of the post and hopefully the breeze brings it back in. Come round. Can't see from that angle. I feel like that went through. Did we get it? With Danny leading 4-2, the players move to the final spot. This is where the twist comes in. From right in front, they'll have three kicks. But to really test their accuracy, they have the option to go for either the big posts 
or take a shot at the mini posts for double points. Who'll be the bravest and go for the extra points? First one off from the 10 meter, I'm going for the big one. One point. I'm hedging my bets. I'm going to go for one point. So we'll take that. Will Cipriani play it safe, or is this his opportunity to claim glory? I'm not doing my normal run up. I'm just, we, we call it shunting, which you do before games to get your rhythm. You just sort of walk back, you jog into it, and you get your rhythm through the ball. Let's stay safe and go for the big one again. One point. <laughs> An impressive display from Danny, whose pinpoint accuracy earned him That's extra two. points and the win. Yeah, it wasn't the best, but yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I think I was quite fortunate today because the breeze is going right to left. So from those touchline kicks, it gave me a bit more room to play with because I could put the ball slightly out and have the wind drag it in. If, there was, if it was a dead still day, it would be a slightly different proposition. So thank you to the, the gods for that one. Yeah, it's a quite an awesome, awesome challenge. I will definitely in the future look for something like that again and maybe make it a better, better point. If you like what you saw here, head to World Rugby Channels to see rugby players taking on more challenges. Make sure you click subscribe.